Hey, it's your toes. Yes, good evening, sir. How are you? What a surprise, man. <laughs> long time, long time. What news? Yes, exactly. It's been more than a year. I was checking the date. I think I uploaded the video of your conversation. Uh, like it was in November 2022. Okay. <laughs> so how's things going on? So your course is over or uh, have you joined for any other course or PhD, postgraduate, post PhD? What's the status? Yeah. Yeah, now I'm pursuing a master's degree, that is Master's of Arts in English Literature. Mm -hmm. And I'm a final year student now. Wow, good. And how about uh, uh, your channels, YouTube channels going on? Have you started yeah, earning, really earning revenues from that? Yes, must I be. do. Must be. Yeah, of course I do. Now I have crossed 13,000 subscribers on three. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, it's good. It's going well. What about you? Where were you? I think. So, not that you, I think. so I, I'm busy like a bee. <laughs> See, I'm working in like you know, several uh, platforms. Since I'm freelancing, mm -hmm. I don't have any issues. So currently I'm uh, connecting you from US. Uh, mm -hmm. So here it is like early morning, six o'clock. Oh, that's great. And it's evening here. It's so yeah, fast. it's evening. We are like India is 12 and a half hours ahead of Colorado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we have here 50 states. So each state, like unlike India, India is also a big country. But unlike India, here, every state, they have their own time zone. Their own yeah. time zone. Like now, one I'm staying with my daughter, my elder daughter. Her, her timing is like uh, 6 o'clock now. And my second daughter is in Texas, and she must be having now 7 o'clock. So every state, okay. the time changes. California, it will be again, it will be backward. And uh, New York, it will be further ahead, like two and a half, yeah. three hours. Like, you know, one it's state, good for Indian what? people that we don't have to think about like what time it will be there in Kolkata or in Delhi or Mumbai. Say. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Like, no, even though there is time different, like, no, sunset and, uh, 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 and dawn, it differs in Northeast and Gujarat. Yeah. We did not have to worry about these different time zones. Mm -hmm. Now, otherwise, life is good. Anything worth mentioning since we met last? Yeah, so I, I want to know, like, what about your 2023, uh, actually? So you were there in the US or recently you went? There? Yeah, I, I recently, just one month, I will be here for another six months. And before that, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, four, four months back, I again, I was here um, uh, last, I think, 22, 23, middle, I was here. Then I was only two months in US. Then I came back because my one of my relative was not uh, keeping well. So we came back. And uh, yeah, a lot of traveling happening. And in between, uh, after clapping go, I thought, why not give a try? Give a shot for English Yari. And they were happy to rope me in. So I'm with Yari, I'm with Clampingo, and earlier I was working with like a local platform called Capshine. So busy. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. That's yeah. great. For yeah. me, of course, like uh, 2023 was a great year. And uh, in the last of the like, you know, the year, like December 2023, my sister got married. So it was a great thing. And uh, I was busy. Like I, I went to my hometown for two months mm -hmm. so for handling all the responsibilities and things. So it was a great uh, thing like in 2023. And apart from this, my uh, YouTube channel, of course, a, a nice growth. I have mm -hmm. like, you know, crossed maybe 10,000 in, uh, in just, you know, 2023. Mm -hmm. So it was a great thing and I have enjoyed, but uh, basically I don't like traveling a lot. So in 2023, I went to Haridwar, mm -hmm. Uttarakhand. Okay. So single trip was there. And yeah. 
Wow. But uh, I've seen that you are giving some coaching sessions as well. So do you have your own platform or your own uh, like uh, uh, system to coach? Yeah, I don't have any uh, platform means like application, but okay. I help others. Sometimes mm -hmm. the subscribers, they write mail to me through YouTube. Mm -hmm. So okay. I try to help them and I conduct sessions for them. So direct Zoom or Google Google Meet. Yes, right. Uh -huh. So your own Zoom sessions you take up. Yeah, of course, sometimes. Multi, multi face sitter. <laughs> so you must be having financial independence. Yes, somewhat. What do you mean Not by that much, financial? But in the sense, I'm able to bear my expenses. Yeah. Really? So you don't, but you don't depend anyone. Don't depend on your parents. You you must be making your own income. You must be earning your own income. That's what I feel. Yeah. Right. Right. So, what do you understand by this term, financial freedom? Is it like getting a good job with a five-figure uh, salary or, you know, enough money to live or to serve for your dependents? Is that financial freedom? Or getting money without working is financial freedom? So for me, what is financial freedom? What I think, getting enough that uh, you can, of course, money is important for your life. But mm -hmm. if you are able to, like, you know, fulfill your all of your needs, that's good because you can't uh, complete your, all of your desires. That mm -hmm. is not yet easy at all. Because if you if you have a four wheeler today, tomorrow you would love to buy a helicopter. So like, yeah, that's that's really difficult to chase all those things which you will whatever you want in your life. But financial freedom is something where you have enough money that you can run your family, you can bear your expenses. And you mm -hmm. can explore yourself as well without the tension or dependency or someone. So if I talk about myself, of course, I'm not able to earn a lot of money, mm -hmm. but at least I'm independent enough so I can explore the things, whatever I want to actually. So because mm -hmm. there is money is not everything. Of course, money is important. Money can solve your 95 or 99 percent problems, but mm -hmm. something you have to like uh, think beyond the money as well. For the okay. peace, for happiness, for following your passion, for mm -hmm. understanding, like you know, what kind of life you want from your life, and like you know, yourself. Perfect, perfect. So initially, if you work hard, like uh, ten hours, twelve hours, you can make enough money, and afterwards, that money, if invested properly, that money will work for you. Initially, you work for money. And after mm -hmm. 10, 15 years of toiling, you invest it in a proper manner, then that money starts working for you. That is financial freedom. Financial freedom is having enough money without working. <laughs> when we okay. talk, talk about financial freedom, that is what uh, I understand. So, so that for that, you have to invest in proper medias. So mm -hmm. what do you mean by saving and investing? Suppose you have 10,000, 15,000 rupees a month. So do you believe in saving or spending all that money or investing that money so that after a certain period of time, you can retire and your money start working for you and you can have financial freedom and you can do, you can follow your passion. You can do whatever you want. So what do you believe yeah, in? Of course, as I was a commerce student, I studied. It is very important Perfect. to go for investing, of course. And uh, But uh, practically, what I would say that the people, they don't have uh, that much knowledge to go for the investment. What mm -hmm. I see in my society, they are always afraid. They want to go for the banks or sometimes they want to keep money in their uh, like you know, hands for their houses. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go for the bigger aspect, what you told me. And but it is very important to go for the investment. Otherwise, you will work whole life and you wouldn't get time to enjoy your own life. So, yeah, save money and go for the investment. Don't keep in your hands. Go for the investment. So it is very important. Yeah. So these days, people are especially this new generation, Generation Z. They are very ambitious and uh, they work hard. You know, even weekends, holidays, you know, they don't take any vacations and holidays. They don't have a work-life balance. 
they keep the work the work and and they they have they they have this in mind that i should have financial freedom after 10 years i want to retire early retirement no during our time we used to work up to 55 58 60 until they kick you out or you, they retire you but this new generation they are thinking is early retirement with a financial freedom so for that they go with a, a, a side hustle have you heard about this term side hustle mm mm-hmm. right what is a side hustle yeah just be, uh, like you know today also i just watching i was watching a short so there was just you know one boy was telling that the girl was running a business in side hustle she was selling some canva uh, templates okay okay so that's how like you know she made a lot of money out of it so side mm-hmm. hustle means when you are working nine uh, like you know nine to five along with that you go for something which can make money for you not investing a lot of time if you work for 8 hours but at least if you work 1 hour 2 hours per day for something else that can also like you know add some value in your account perfect perfect i am really impressed about this a new term uh, not a brand new term but the side hustle another term we use is moon lighting moon lighting i can say i am just doing like some kind of moon lighting i have some other business to do so this is my side business this is my side hustle or this is my moon lighting most of the people these day they have a job they are employed at the same time like you know when you have some leisure time you go ahead and make some side money using side hustles either you can do some business or uh, you can have your own youtube channel you can create revenue from that so earlier you can retire and you can have financial freedom right so related to this side hustle there is another term hustle culture mm-hmm. have you heard about that hustle culture hustle culture is like mm-hmm. working day and night no these days in the corporate they call you they don't give you holiday they will call you for saturdays and sundays or you will volunteer to work on like no late hours especially this is happening in our indian corporates like if mm-hmm. you if you look at uh, the way they work in us 8 to 5 8 to 4 that's it not even one second extra and forget about working saturdays and sundays that's their time but in india and uh, like no uh, but developing countries they work like 10 hours 12 hours 13 hours 15 hours i've seen people whenever i call them they are in the office they think they will get more money they can take overtime they can get promotions what do you think about this hustle culture and how it impacts the employees morale yeah it's not good at all because uh, uh, like you know if you why you are earning money the goal is to enjoy your life to understand yourself or to go for something which you like but you are not left with the, like you know few hours in your day only you sleep and you go to office like if you are working for 12 hours 6 hours in commute then what you are left with nothing i don't believe and i don't really like it but fear of losing job because mm. unemployment rate is really high and increasing day by day in our country so that's why they want to work 14 hours so nobody maybe like you know somebody else can't replace them so mm-hmm. they want to become like you know good in front of their company or the like officials that at least they they just you know uh, they wouldn't kick them out okay mm-hmm. so but it's not a good at all i think i don't believe in that like you know people they don't have saturday and sunday they are working 30 out of 30 days and nowadays the people are that much addicted to work that even though like they feel lonely on sunday like they feel like depressed that oh i'm not working so they want to work every day because it became in their like you know it becomes their habit somewhat so that mm-hmm. is the thing but uh, i don't believe in it and i don't really like it so i want to live a free life a free style life so whenever i want i want to be the boss, uh, boss of myself so yeah. That's you want to run your own business house yeah, you want somewhere. to be want, you, you want to have your own startup hours. very good yeah. good thought 
Yeah. Nice. And if I want, I can take a leave. So I don't want to go in front of somebody. So please, I need the vacation for two days. Can you approve it? No, I don't do not do. I I don't going to do it. Something will they'll say like I wouldn't do it. So that is the thing. But for me, it's totally different. Exploring is really important. Much more important than working always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So starting your own company, your own business, it's a good idea. But mm -hmm. there are, it's, it's hard to establish that business and run it successfully, earn a lot of revenue from that, and then later on take a financial freedom. So it's, it's a hard, like most of our people, we think about uh, like, okay, 10 to 5 job, uh, fixed salary every month, and you can take your holidays once in a while. And people are, most of the people are inclined for such a situation. But in your case, I'm really surprised, impressed that you want to. Now, these, these days, people are thinking in a different way that culture is changing. Yes, Ashutosh, I have, I have watched so many uh, videos of you, you know, with different platforms, you know. And I've heard that you're using... Uh, good idioms and vocabulary. I'm really impressed. So let's get a dose of uh, uh, idioms. You must be able to tell me what is a bad apple. Oh my God, he's a bad apple. What do you What do you understand by if I say he's a bad apple? Maybe uh, a person with uh, not good morality and etiquettes. Yeah, he, right? he 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 mm -hmm. doesn't fit to the our culture or our team. Mm -hmm. you no, know, he's a bad apple. No, please mm -hmm. keep away from that guy. He's a bad apple. Oh, okay. Yeah. That so what we do is like if you have a, a basket of apple, and if you have one bad apple, so we take it and just put it away, thrash it, put it in the dustbin, mm -hmm. because otherwise it will spoil the other good apples. So same mm -hmm. thing we can see in our office or in our corporates. There will be like two or three bad apples. They will be trying to pull you down, demean you or to denigrate you. So mm -hmm. you have to be away from that, guys. If you say one guy, oh, he's a big cheese. He's a big cheese. What's the meaning? Big cheese means having a lot of his stuff with him. Maybe a rich yes, guy. Yes, uh, a rich a guy. Where it? Uh, yes, stuff. yes, mm -hmm. highly influential guy. You got it, man. So rich, like uh, we don't say, oh, he's very rich man. Like we say, mm -hmm. it's an idiom. Big cheese. He's a big cheese. Mm -hmm. Don't play with him. So if you, you set a kraiga, so you are playing with fire. You are playing yeah. with fire. What do you mean, playing with fire? Flying with fire means you will get burned. Of course. <laughs> you will get you burned, but you are, you. Yeah, it will harm you. Like you know, if someone is very powerful and if you take something against him, talk against him, then you can say, oh, if you talk about this man, you are playing with fire. Be, be mindful, be watchful, mm -hmm. right? So uh, that guy is a cheesy guy. Like, you know, we are talking about uh, some idioms related to cheese. He's a cheesy guy. Cheesy cheese. guy. Yeah. Means like, you know, we cannot trust that guy. Oh, cheesy. Yeah. Okay. Cheesy. C-H-E-E-S-Y. Not Z. S-Y. He's a cheesy guy. Means he's not trustworthy. He's not dependable. You know, whatever we, he says, you know, you have to be careful about that guy. He's not mm -hmm. like there are like you can see around some some people around you in your office. You can see cheesy guys. If someone is an exactly. apple, apple of the eye, apple of the eye. Yeah, beloved. Um, beloved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beloved. So you are wearing several hats. You are wearing several hats. You are a coach, you are a student, you are a YouTuber, and you are so ambitious to start a lot of other things that we can say you are wearing several hats. Right? Have you heard this term? So tell no, me, no. what is your true calling? What are you, Ashutosh? Are you a coach? Am I? <laughs> uh, who are you? And what's your true calling? Yeah, good thing for me. That's what you are asking, right? Yes. True calling means what you really, what you are so passionate about. 
Like people, you know, they work in an office. That's not your passion. They are in, uh, he's a teacher, not your passion. Uh, he's a, a businessman, not your passion. Maybe you want to be an artist. You want to be a singer. You want to be a dancer. That's yeah. your true calling. Yeah, the true calling, of course, I was a commerce student, but I have chosen this uh, profession of talking to the people. I like it. This is my passion somewhat. I'm following. I like interacting with the people and I have completed more than 16 or 17,000 conversations mm -hmm. So in last three to four years. So I like it. Apart from this, I like singing a lot. So mm -hmm. when I was in school or university, I used to sing out, out loud. Nowadays also I do so whenever I get time for it. And third thing, of course, cricket commentary. I like listening to the cricket commentators. I, I used to mug up all the data of cricket. So uh, it was, of course, once, like when I was in eighth standard, maybe I wanted to see myself as a cricket commentator. Wow. You wanted to be a commentator or you have worked as a commentator? No, not at all. I wanted to. This was my dream always. So not at all. Not I haven't worked as it. But uh, always I was good in mugging the data that some of my classmates would come to me. Ashutosh, please tell me like uh, on which date there is a match, who is playing in that team for the IPL and everything. So I used to tell them. Wow. Wow. Have you ever tried commentary? That's a wonderful method to improve our English. Yeah. Now I do it by not... myself. Yeah. yeah, if nobody is there in the room, I do it by myself, not in the ground, but uh -huh. I do it by myself, that I speak to myself, that uh, Rohit Sharma is playing well. And the, and the can, you, can, you give the me a, can, can you give me a 30-second demo? Yeah, exactly. No, like try sometimes I say, Yeah, the Virat Kohli is a really great player, the man of pure class, the way he plays really marvelous. I can't believe him. The way he's playing, of course, the match, he's going to win. He's going to do it. You can't believe that, of course, the way he's playing and he's chasing the uh, like the score like a mountain. Oh, really? <laughs> you see, what a feel, man. You know, when you, when you talk like that, when you do a commentary, my goodness, the feel you get. As you said, you can do it, you know, when no one is in the room. But you can give this... Uh, to other learners, try this. Try, oh my God, what a shot, man. There's no one on that side and the ballers are clueless. <laughs> yeah, I listen to the energetic kind of commentary a lot. Recently, like India lost the match against Australia under-19 World Cup. So I listened that commentary, but of course, I was really unhappy for it. So I like it, of course, because this improves your confidence, your language. Perfect. You make a lot of sentences in a hurry as well. You try to come out with many sentences in few uh, minutes. So that's a great thing about and, it. And the similar lines, I have I have seen another thing, like you know, which you can utilize to improve your um, communication skill is to uh, be a metro man. Uh, mm -hmm. Metro man means like weather forecast. You might have seen in BBC News and any other channel, how do they like, you know, present uh, the meteorological data? Oh my God, that's, but I try to do that, but I'm not able to do that. Maybe I'm shy to say that, but you can try. Yeah, Metro sometimes man. I do that in front of my friends also, then they would say, oh man, just like, you know, <laughs> I would speak for you know, like very long period of time. And when I went to Delhi also, I used to try the imitation of the voice of the Metro. Metro. That Central Park is here, the station. <laughs> so, so, so I used to try and copy all those things. Yeah. Metro stations, Central Park, yeah, the train the, the I like a lot. is reaching mm -hmm. in two minutes. <laughs> so yeah. Metro and Metrology, like you can be a weather forecaster on the, if you're coming to the northeastern part, it's partly cloudy and it's windy. The, so there's a forecast telling that the people may take their umbrellas when they are going out. <laughs> so it's something yeah. you can add and make more interesting. I believe in that. No, rather than giving you a topic and talk, like, you know, these kind of methods that can uh, improve their fluency, they can elevate their confidence and amplify their communicative skills. This is what I believe in and this is what I do. Yeah, exactly. It's very important, of course, to put your... 
So yeah, we learn a lot from doing these things. But I try all these things whenever. Sometimes I get the voice from my heart, and I'll do it by myself. That of course I will do it, or something I can talk to myself. Whatever the plans I have, like I speak out. So that's what I do. And before kind of things also, I like sometimes that yeah, that that's a great practice for I feel. And I used to record myself, like you know, when I had started my spoken English journey. I used to record and I used to imagine as myself as a motivational speaker that you can do it, man. <laughs> so we have a lot of. So do you watch any any channels like you know Santip Maheshwari and all? You watch? Yes, I follow a lot of good people, of course. Like you know, I used to watch Santip Maheshwari and Vivek Bindra. Like you know, he has a powerful voice. And Harshvardhan, so many. People, Now I think I think both of them are at loggerheads, like uh, Bindra and uh, Maheshri. They had a feud between them. Some some fraud has happened. Some fraudulent activities. This Bindra has taken money from the public, fifty thousand rupees. So that we will discuss in any of our upcoming sessions. I let you go, Ashutosh. It was great pleasure talking to you, man. Like I don't have anything to tell you. Like you no, know, I was looking for any mistake, and if I pick some of few mistakes, that will be too kiddish from my side, and I don't want to to indulge in such uh, <laughs> activities of correcting our Ashutosh. You are awesome, man. You rock. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. It was really <laughs> nice a uh, session with you after a long period of time. Yeah, please, whenever time permits, join us. Yeah, sure. Rendezvous with uh, Achutosh, <laughs> <laughs> like coffee with Karan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, man. Take care. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening and good night. Yes, have a great day, sir. Yeah. Goodbye.